In this print intelligence product briefing video, we're going to walk through the necessary steps to specify and order a marketing campaign. My circle product briefing shows the process from a collaborative development point of view, but the exciting difference is how UStore allows end customers to customize and order predefined campaigns. Here is a campaign on a UStore site. It provides an interactive view of the entire campaign so we can explore all aspects of the campaign, including print materials, emails, landing pages, and so forth. I can click on an element to see an example of the direct mail or landing page. It is essential to understand that back-end XMPy products link all these elements together using the same design and data components, whether they are for print, email, or web delivery. We can see examples of the form, the thank you page, and even a PDF file of the coupon, which can include interactive links to bring the customer back to landing pages. Once a customer decides that they want a campaign like this, they begin to customize it. Remember that this campaign is prepackaged, so they aren't designing it, but they can change key elements. For example, they will want to specify the event date, time, and address. Circle not only controls what they can and cannot change, but can also include rules like requiring event dates to be at least 30 days in the future. Customers can click on elements to quickly confirm that their date and location information is correct on any element in real time. Next, they need to upload their recipient list. XMPy now includes a downloadable template so that the files are correctly formatted. Which brings us to where most customer-facing variable data ordering systems suffer. Pricing. UStore automatically calculates the campaign price, which happens to be free for me, not because I'm special, but because I only had one recipient in my file. Oh well, you get the idea. Let's take a look behind the curtain to see how the system does this. You can price a campaign by the number of recipients, or you can get down in the dirt to develop pricing at a component level. Here is the list of the components for our coffee tasting campaign. We have print elements, including the invite and an entrance ticket, an email invite, and the event registration and thank you web elements. We can price each one individually. Let's price the printed event invite element. We can set pricing breakpoints, such as rates for fewer than 1,000 recipients and rates for larger campaigns. Next, we can specify the base prices and can add pricing for options such as lamination. I can do the same thing for non-print elements like emails, setting pricing breakpoints and pricing levels appropriate to that type of component. This opens up a lot of options for services providers because they can specify an overall campaign price based upon recipient count or create variable pricing by specifying pricing for individual components. If you choose to define component level pricing, UStore will estimate recipient touches at each touch point and revise the quantities based on dropout rates because not everyone who receives the initial mailing will make it to requesting a coupon. This is great for B2C customers, but B2B accounts might want something different. They might use this built-in pricing for campaign setup and regularly invoice clients based upon activity levels as campaigns unfold. It is up to you. Speaking of campaigns unfolding, customers can go into their campaign order histories and click on the interactive campaign diagram to see the actual real-time results of each component. And they can download files containing all recipients and any preferences they submitted. This is great stuff, and it is exciting to see how end customers can tailor, price, order, and access campaigns and their contents. The one area I'd like to see enhanced is the B2B invoicing. Currently, services providers manually download campaign reports to bill based upon monthly activity. I want UStore to do this automatically, with the setup cost and the estimated overall campaign cost appearing on the initial order screen. But you can manually do this today, and campaigns are bigger deals than 200-page print jobs, so getting your hands a little dirty is probably okay for now.